good morning and welcome to my favorite kind of video it's the first day of a travel vlog um actually two seconds i'm just trying to find my other phone to on charge so it's the morning of the 24th and we are heading to singapore today i went and got my nails done yesterday so feeling funky fresh um I'm in the car, it's quite early, I've got a parcel I need to pick up from Asda's and I want to see if I can grab some money. To be honest I spent everything on my credit card so I'm not actually too worried about getting Singapore dollars but I think it's always helpful to have a few, like a little bit of cash on you. Um, so that is the agenda this morning, I've got to also go pick up my contact lenses, just all my plans just run a bit late. Um, they were meant to be in on Tuesday, I went to go pick them up, they weren't there. So now I'm doing it the morning of. Lucky enough, I've got an evening flight. My flight's not till seven. So I don't really have to get to the airport till like four. So I've got plenty of time. I don't feel too rushed. I thought I would bring you along with me for the day. And let's go to Singapore. So managed to pick up my parcel, unfortunately no money and no dog food. So now I have to go to like Sainsbury's to go get dog food because there is no dog food in the house. Normally I keep a back up in the garage but nobody wanted to tell me that they got the last pack out. So now I'm running around trying to get dog food. Successful trip. We got dog food, ice cream and off of Corey, Mother's Day card because that's on Sunday before I leave and I've got my last few bits of travel stuff I needed. And we got Starbucks. Good trip. Oh, I didn't even actually tell you uh, the best part. We have Singapore dollars. Not a lot. <laughs> We've only got like 200 pounds worth. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to be able to have some cash in my pocket. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy. Oh, and I got keys cut because my dad's coming in to take my dog in the day while Luke's and Corey is at work and school respectively. Um, so I had to get him a key cut and Corey can't find his key so I had to get him a key cut but boy I am charging through my errands and I need to go drop this home and go pick up my contact lenses and then that's it then I'm home until the airport so look insane at the moment so it's been quite a while I haven't really checked in with you guys um, 
I don't actually know what the last thing I filmed was. Um, I think it was grabbing my suitcases from the airport. Um, so I ended up getting a car service from vi with the hotel. I booked a car service with the hotel. Um, so I had a car waiting for me to pick me up and bring me here. Um, so I've just arrived. I had a little bit of a debacle uh, checking in. It wouldn't accept my credit card. I tried to let NatWest know that I was going to be traveling abroad so I wouldn't have this issue, but it just wouldn't accept it whatsoever. So I've got my brother trying to fix it at home. Um, I managed to sort it out for one night, but I need to go and figure out the rest. I look so, I don't think this lighting helps, um, but I thought I would give you a really quick room tour of why I haven't messed it up too much. So I'm staying at the Four Seasons and I've just got a regular um, like double room so I thought I'd give you a bit of an overview. So this is literally the hallway as you walk in. Um, to the right these doors actually do close. Uh, you can see me in all these mirrors, all these reflections. This is my travelling outfit. So nice double sink, they give you lots of toiletries and bits and bobs, um, a really nice big uh, double, double, a big corner shower, which I cannot wait to use. This is my first port of call because being on a plane for 13 and a bit hours is not the one. Um, really cute, really nice, cute, okay yeah let's keep that, really nice um, deep bathtub. It seems quite short, but it seems really deep, so I have no doubt I'll be using that very shortly. Um, and then some robes and bits and a little separate toilet. Um, so then you come back out opposite, you've got your standard wardrobe. Lovely, oh, thank you for providing some slippers, but I did bring my own. I am actually gonna unpack and probably no I'll unpack and then I shower. Um they brought up my luggage, they got it out of the car service and the bell hop brought it brought it up. I've got a nice little area to get ready. Fried a hair dryer. Obviously everything is sorry, my hand is disgusting. I need to start using this hand because those cuts are disgusting. Um they give you face masks, little hand sanitizer wipes and hand sanitizer my crap on the floor already it is nearly quarter past nine here lovely big double bed um this is the mini bar so we've got a coffee machine a kettle water for the coffee machine some snacks obviously all your prices are in here um empty some crisps and bits and bars but it'll probably cost you your liver <laughs> and your spleen and your firstborn child um drinks and oh actually, I actually haven't checked this out okay so coffee and your teas oh fantastic um all in your top shell middle is wine and glasses and all the utensils and things back there and then just some plates at the bottom maybe i will just have a look at what the sort of price is so they are your sort of prices it's all in singapore dollars then i've got a huge big tv here um i was looking for the wi-fi code uh, this is just like a little uh, note writing set in there. Um, another, and then you've got your safety and your room service menu. It's quite an extensive room service menu, so that's great. Um, a little radio there, lots of plugs and outlets. A uh, nice little table here, little chaise long. You can't tell, I don't know how to pronounce that. I haven't got the best view. There's a lot of building work happening. Um, but there's the tennis courts down there. Yeah, it's not the best view, but it's it's alright. We move, so um 
yeah so that is the overview of the room this is you can actually see where my head was when i was laying down on the bed on the phone um so this is the overview of my room i am so so happy to be here i'm really excited now that i'm here um i think i can like go into a little bit of a story time if you bear with me so before i came here i was feeling really really apprehensive and um i guess I, i'll call it what it is like i had really bad anxiety um not i don't know like obviously i i, I travel a lot not since 2019 but i used to travel a lot i have no issue traveling by myself i've been many places by myself so i don't know what it was about this trip i just felt underprepared even though i had packing lists like to-do lists i like i had all my documentation done like i don't know and there was quite a lot of few um hoops to jump through to get here to singapore like there's a lot of paperwork that they need um i will say having covid i thought having covid in february it was a pain in my ass um but it actually did me really well because if you're recovered and you have a certificate to say you've had covid you don't need to pcr test before you go you don't have to pcr test when you arrive here um so i literally like got through the airport so quickly because i had my recovery certificate so that was great but and i knew this information before i went um so if i have repeated myself i do apologize but yeah so like i was prepared but i just felt really uneasy to the point of maybe like two days before i was just going to cancel it i could move my flights with ba my hotel was free cancellation i would have lost out on like maybe like my insurance payment that i made um i would have lost out on like minimal ma money maybe like a hundred pound if i wanted to change it or cancel it um but now being here, I'm so glad I didn't. I am really, really looking forward to this trip. I think it's exactly what I needed. Um, but yeah, I just want to show that it's not all joy and rainbows and everything like that. I feel like I've been a fresh face on this camera a lot recently, I swear. I do look cute sometimes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show like the realities of I wasn't gonna come and now i'm here and i'm happy and my hotel is lovely and i am gonna go shower maybe even take a dip in the bath i'm not too sure and get changed i go explore a little bit so